The sense of smell, aka olfaction, is what lets us detect delightful things like fresh cookies, or horrifying things like rotten onions or durian hell sludge. But here's the question that nobody sane has asked. Can a smell be so disgustingly awful that it actually causes physical pain? Well, I'm finding out the only way I know how. By locking myself in a tent stuffed with the nastiest, most rancid foods known to mankind. It's a science experiment, a survival challenge, and a really dumb idea all in one. Don't try this at home or anywhere ever, or people will probably hate you. I've been growing and festering and fostering this stinky food for the past three weeks, and I'm kind of concerned that my neighbors aren't happy about it. It's a good thing I'm moving. <laughs> I'm sure you're all curious how this experiment's gonna work. Well, I got four transparent tents and one sauna tent. I have organized the foods into what I believe to be the less stinkiest to the most stinkiest, and we'll go one at a time in each of these transparent tents, and at the very, very end, we'll put it all into the sauna tent. Enjoy that smell. I think I'm done recommending ideas. I think this is a great idea, Mark. I think people are gonna really enjoy this. I think that stuff was ready three weeks ago, and you just are trying to kill us. You know, it could be poisonous. We could breathe uh, pathogens. We could be, I don't know, we'll breathe in this stuff, is it healthy? When I asked ChatGBT, apparently some of this could be a little toxic. It's okay. Well, if one of us passes out. I think you'll throw up long before you pass out. Being with you in this tent, you're pretty stinky. <laughs> <laughs> tent number one is viral stinky food. Durian fruit that is moldy because it's been waiting for the past week and a half or two. And then we got pastrami, fermented Swedish fish. Everyone knows the, all these things are stinky. So we're gonna keep the gas mask on, open all this, crack that open, and uh, see how long we can last. I feel confident about this one though. Yeah, I'd say more than a minute. Yep. All right, zip us in, Jake. Let's get durian going. going. Oh! oh my God, it smells, oh my. The mask don't help. Oh, I know, they don't. My, my can opener doesn't work. No, it's fine. Can we just take off the mask? At this point, take it off. Oh, it's much worse. Oh, oh my, oh. This is a horrible idea. <laughs> this was your idea, Mark. I'm going the old fashioned way. Seems your can opener is better than mine. I forgot to buy new ones today. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll handle the durian. <sighs> Watch it, it's pokey. Yeah, I trust me, I know you threw it at my leg. It smells. It smells like, oh, uh, a dead person? I don't, uh. <laughs> These are big sustrums. Yeah, I'm curious to see what that one looks like. You feed a family of eight with this. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's a squirter. Uh. Okay, okay. I'm uh, unveiling the moldy durian. Ow, it hurts. This is another level. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pierce the moldy durian. Should we just smear it along the walls? I'm opening the moldy durian. That's what it looks like. What do we got in here? A lot of juice. A lot of, oh, you got it on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> It's your fault for not wearing shoes. It's it's okay. What do you think about this smell, Mark? Um, Let's see what this one has so first. I feel like my eyes are feeling weird. This is just a big old sweat tent. Yeah, it's very sweaty. That's why I chose to do it on a hot summer day. Oh, it's all turned into bones. Is this supposed to be mush? Uh, last time I got it, it was actual fish, but this is just bones. <laughs> Look at that one. Dare you to eat a piece? No, give me some non-bones. Son of a, I was kidding. <laughs> oh. Salty, salty. Oh. Go ahead, Mark, give it a try. Come on. <laughs> Come on, do another one. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Is that safe? <laughs> yeah, this, this, some of this came uh, uh, within a week ago. It's got enough salt to be fine. Have a piece of this. I feel like really put it up to our, our face and do a deep sniff. Really. <laughs> well, after you or me. I don't, <laughs> I don't know about the fruit situation. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> that one might be. That's a natural reaction. <laughs> okay, I think this tent this tends to draw. That's fair. It know. only gets worse from here. <laughs> I just don't give me 
Okay, is this tent to draw right? Uh, I think we give it two more minutes. <laughs> I can survive two more minutes. Yeah, oh, me God. too. Hey, if I puke, guess who I'm puking on? You, buddy. I'm puking right back <laughs> on you. <laughs> we can have a draw. We could have a draw. I think we both survived this one. <sighs> we're too strong. I don't think we're gonna be too strong for the next few. Let's find out. <sighs> <sighs> Seal it back up, seal it back up. It's going in the dumpster. Jake, we need to get a camera for you for when you inevitably take a whiff. We need a wide of you. Oh, that's not happening. Take it off and come over like right where I am. Oh. Just give it a little, give it a little try. Come on, it's for science. Everyone wants to see. Oh my God. Huh? <laughs> Listen, Jake, I'll give you 15 bucks if you step inside. I'm gonna be more than $15. <laughs> I'll give you $25 <laughs> if you stick your nose inside. $25 just to stick my nose inside? Yes. Sniff. I would shake your hand, but they're just I don't want to touch Yeah. <laughs> inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting bad. used to yeah, it, I'm yeah. Bad, <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a slight hole in the tent. I'm not sure if it will matter. Veggies and fruits, rotten for three weeks. Smell test. Bon appetit. Oh, it's a very- Pungent, pungent, yeah. Just smells like straight doo-doo. Looks like doo-doo, yeah, smells like doo-doo. Kinda smells poisonous, doesn't Is it? <laughs> it? Is this a strawberry or? Yeah, it's a strawberry. Yeah, take a look at the strawberry, Jake. Interesting. Honestly, yeah, doing it in the way we have, I think it, we really acclimated from the first tent to this tent. I feel like we should shake things up. Ah! <laughs> that made it smell worse. Yeah, we just gotta really, just, just really. I don't have, <laughs> I got my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I can't. Stop. I got a potato. Oh, well, these potatoes are still good. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's how they look. You got my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why they lived in Ireland for so long. <laughs> Get out. We call it draw? No, you're out. Why? I'm not out. Why am I out? Uh, I just want you to get out. No, no, uh, call it draw. Look at this banana. Stop! <laughs> I can't. This was the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> Call a draw, Mark! No. You? I'm too stubborn. You mother I don't want to be in here. We food fight until someone gives. You're my mouth again! Help. All right. Good, good game. Good game. <laughs> Let's get out. That was much worse than the other tent. Is it cool if I jump in your hot tub? Next tent is dairy plus egg. So I got a bin full of eggs and cheese, cottage cheese, and then we got some milk that's 100% kernel. Don't make me hate cottage cheese, that's my favorite. I don't think you're gonna eat cottage cheese ever again after this. I do gotta watch my cholesterol. This is good for you, okay? I don't think you'll eat any food and your cholesterol will drop to zero. No veggies either. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we'll unveil the tub first. <clears throat> Looks like a omelet, nice brunch. Pour it in. Honestly, it smells like a dairy farm. Oh, oh my God, is it's this, cottage cheese. Is, is this how cottage cheese is made? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at it. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Stop it! <laughs> You're making it worse for all of us, okay? We're in this together! No, we're not. <laughs> we're a team! I'm trying not to get to the grand finale. <laughs> we're getting to the grand finale. <laughs> oh. <This is> <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, Mark. Don't, you'll make me do it. You'll make me do it. Here you go, look at this. Oh no, it's on me. You ready for a drop, Mark? Um, this is for science. We're handling this pretty well. We're too good at this. We're just, we've gotten so acclimated to things. <laughs> <laughs> I 
it birds. <laughs> I'm sorry. You I got, can't see. Yeah. I can't see. You got some eggshell on your hand. No, ah, I can't see. It I, burns my eyes. I, 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 I got a why is it orange? I can't see. I can't. Help. Get out. Uh, you get out. Get out. I don't want to be in here. Get out. What is this? Get out of my tent. What are we doing? I can't see, but I'm fighting. I'm fighting. <laughs> Give up. Give I up. Get up. <laughs> Give up. Give up. Help. Get ah, up. My Give balls. Up. Give up. Uh. I don't want to be in it. You're too stubborn. Give up. You give up. You son of a. Give up. You're going in the sauna. Help. When I see you're in trouble. Ah, it burns my eyes. Okay, I give up. Yeah. I give up. I'm king of the stink. <gasps> hey, king of the stink. Jake, give me a hug. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Burns my eyes. I wonder why that was. Ah, uh, did we ruin more mics? Hundred <laughs> percent. Well, guide me to the hose, Mark, so I can spray my face off. Let's just hose off completely. We got one last tent before the sauna tent, and it's what I believe to be the worst one of them all. Salmon, shrimp, steaks, all kinds of meats. And when I tried to quarantine this bin into the bigger bin, it nearly made me throw up in the yard. And that was two and a half weeks ago. When my family and I went up to the UP in a cabin, there was a fridge that went out for a week and there was meat in it. Mm -hmm. And the whole place stunk the whole week. It was you horrible. You got PTSD from that. That's, I'm not looking forward to this. I might uh, get a, a second lead here. Oh my God. Well, Mark, are you ready? This is bad. This is already bad. This is already bad. This is real bad. Well, it's this, about to get a lot worse. This doesn't seem safe. I'm sure if we like pass out from the fumes, Jake will pull us out. Right, Jake? Right, Jake. What? You're gonna you're gonna save us if we pass out? I can't hear you from outside the tent. He'll he'll save us. Take away his fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he didn't smell the last tent. Yeah. We'll, we'll come back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Meats being opened. Oh my god. <laughs> You got something right there. I'm not falling for that no, trick. Like, oh my God, that is, that is diabolical. That's, look at it, no. it's all turned into mush. I can't look at it. You want a food fight with this, Mark? Are you, are you okay with this? I've adapted, <laughs> I've overcome the stink. I don't. I am the stink now. This kind of smells like the shastrami. <laughs> Help. No, Mark, you can't leave now. It's worse than I grew up. <laughs> Is it really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should we stand? It, it rises. Yeah. It rises. Oh, my. Somehow I'm adapting. <laughs> to it, I think I'm getting stronger. Oh, please. <laughs> you don't hold me. No. <laughs> you can give up at any time. I just. Look at that. You can find a little bone in there. If you really look. No. Take a, take a look at that. <laughs> this is... <laughs> just, just, no, just, Why are you okay with Just look this? a little closer. All my oh. memories are coming back. <laughs> no, I think there's... If you look no. at this one... Nope. I don't know. Mm, okay. Nope. That's getting to me a little bit. A bit better. <laughs> I will not lose. <laughs> Help. Help. I want to get out. I can't. No! No! Get it! <laughs> Look out of my eye! Oh my GoPro! <coughs> now I can't seal that. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> we go rinse off. I'm gonna rinse off too. Okay. <laughs> On to the sauna tent. Mark, you lost. I think one of those losses were you just, too much time had passed and you were like, let's get out of here. Yeah. 
uh, but I think you generally lost in the last one. Yep. I'm not gonna let you do it alone. I know we said the loser would go in there, but I kind of want to experience that with you. A gentleman and a scholar. Mm -hmm. Last tent, sound of tent. We got everything in there. Mark, you lost, so I'll go in after you. Oh my God, Mark. Open this window. We can't open it. We need to contain ourselves. Wow. This is kind of nice. Yeah, you know what? I feel like we're pointing out all the toxins of the stink. We should dishonor more often. Do you ever feel like, after all the trauma we've been through, that we've become stronger human beings? Uh, stronger and dumber. Yeah, that's true. But hey, Jake, just so you, uh, you, everyone knows that it's in here. I don't want anyone saying that we're not in with the stink. I wonder if the steam helps. Honestly, I think it's better. What do you think? It's definitely hotter. Very interesting. Should we bring it back to room one? I'm not feeling too bad in here. Yeah. Let's bring it back to room one. Let's bring it back to room one. I'll take the take the sludge with me. The sauna might be okay. Sauna tent was actually surprisingly refreshing. So we're going back to tent number one after it's been sealed up for probably about an hour or so now with the sludge. Oh my god. I don't think there's any I don't think there's any need to let it faster. How you like it? This is interesting. How you like it? How you like it? Does this mean I'm the grand champion? You win. Woo! I thought you had it. I fumbled on the finish line. You hate to see people who don't finish. You do. I think I, you know, so you know for your meat tap, how you have like some trauma from your youth of smelling rotten meat. I have some trauma from the sashrami in durian and me smelling it. That really festered for a while. Yeah, and it, it festering in there just, whoa. Quite the kerfuffle. With everything else, that's a good word, I like that. So what do you think, Mark? It smells painful? Yeah, definitely a lot of mental anguish, physical nose anguish and just like, like stomach. We should uh, dive more into mental. Oh yeah, I got some good ideas coming up in the future. I'm glad they're your ideas and not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give a short and brief final thoughts in a couple days. Never again? Eh, never say never. <laughs> it's time for the Stink Tent data review. Right after the experiment, I noticed my sense of smell was basically gone. This wasn't just in my head. It was likely a case of olfactory fatigue, where your nose gets overwhelmed by constant exposure to intense odors and stops sending accurate signals to your brain. Jake could smell the stench all through my house, and I couldn't smell a thing. Not ideal. Even worse, Mark and I couldn't fully wash the smell off, especially from our fingers. That's probably thanks to the sulfur-based compounds in the rot binding to the oils in our skin. It took about two days for the smell to fade. Two days of smelling like biological warfare. And the biggest consequence? My girlfriend came home from work and caught one whiff of my dogs who had rolled in the stank grass, and it looked like she was about to burn the house down. The house smelled like a ruptured septic tank, and she was not thrilled. So, can smell be painful? I would say yes. Not like physical pain, but in a psychological, gut-wrenching way. Smell hits the brain's lymphatic system, which controls emotion and memory. That's why some smells make you gag, panic, or question your life's choices. What surprised me the most was how differently Mark and I reacted. Turns out, thanks to genetic differences in smell receptors, everyone's nose interprets odors a little differently. In conclusion, this was the most revolting video we've ever made, but also kind of fascinating. So let me know what you all think down in the comments. Also, for more behind the scenes madness, check out my YouTube memberships or Patreon. Links are in the description. And if you thought this was bad, go watch the time I tried to eat Shastrami, the smelliest fish on earth. That video scarred me in ways I didn't know possible. And mostly I mean, Mark's cooking. <laughs>